it's been a minute, right? I haven't done a video in a while and I wanted to do a video about some of my skincare. I get a lot of questions about it. I'm pretty much all over social media, my social media, um, talking about the different products that I use, the different lineups, morning lineup, you know, evening lineup. And I'm really impressed because um, as soon as I started taking care of my skin, I noticed results and I'm very results oriented. Um, a lot of you guys are too. And uh, these are products that are really, really showing me results and have improved my skin. And the changes that I've seen have been so amazing um, that I just, you know, I like to share. So before I even get started, before I even get on the roll talking about skincare products, I do want to tell you about a makeup product. And it kind of is on the edge makeup skincare and it is so amazing that I I've talked about it in social media but I haven't talked about it on YouTube and you know when you really like something everybody needs to know about it right okay here it is it is cover FX's mattifying setting spray all right we've all had setting sprays right we've all had them um they're pretty standard I mean some are better than others but they all kind of follow the same type of like I love the Milani one uh, make it last I think that the name of that one it is I have the Urban K ones you know that kind of a thing this one is different and I'll tell you why I have gone this is in July last month so now it's in last month I went to two parties the 4th of July party I was out for hours it was you know my neighbor has a huge party there's fireworks everything they had they had a uh, water slide so you know my child I was out there for hours with my child because he was all about that water slide and my makeup didn't move I had two women come up to me and they were like what have you what's what have you got on my makeup didn't move I look like I had just left my house and hadn't been hit by the heat for hours okay this stuff is amazing amazing best setting spray I've ever used I mean I just do four it has a nice sprayer it's not the perfect sprayer as far as like I like a really like fine mist it's it's a fine mist but not a super fine mist I get my whole face in about four sprays and it's totally saturated but it does not disturb my makeup at all and my makeup doesn't move I, I for the July I was I was I was I was like ready to, I was just like, mm, you are the best, okay? This was amazing. And, and then I went to another party a couple weeks later. It was a birthday party and I was outside the majority of the time. It, same thing. My makeup looked just as fresh when I was going, you know, when I went home and looked in the mirror, it looked like I had just done my makeup. So I just have to share that with you. Guys, what makes it so amazing to me, it's alcohol free, which is wonderful it's alcohol free and then what I like about it that is different from the other sprays is when I spray it it dries down and it's matte it dries down matte most of the other sprays that I use I have like this slick little like a satiny finish it's a little too shiny for my liking but this is matte so I don't have to do anything over top of it after I use the setting spray. It's perfect to be the last thing you use before you go out the door. So definitely love it. All right, let me get into some skincare. Um, I get a lot of questions um, because a lot of people have kind of gone on this road with me or are thinking about it, you know, getting more into skincare. So I'm going to try to answer a lot of those questions that I get over and over. And maybe you've thought about it, but just haven't, you know, commented or, you know, got on social media to ask. Um, the biggest question I get is, hands down, is how can you put that many products on your face and it be okay? And that was my thing too. Like I got into this looking in social media, Instagram mostly, and saw people's skincare routines. And I was like, how can you put that much stuff on your face in it? But let me just tell you, it's thin layers and my face, as soon as I started, my face loved it and I saw a difference. I have combination skin, if you're not familiar with me, if this is your first time watching, I have combination skin. I have an oily T-zone and usually normal, normal now, but dry cheeks as soon as the weather turns cold. What I found through doing this over the last few months is that I've been using or kind of utilizing um, thin layers of moisture, hydration really, and it's really changed my skin. I'm not as oily as I used to be. You see, I still use mattifying, but you know, it ain't all gone. But I have noticed such an amazing change in my skin. I'm not afraid of the oiliness now. It's not uncontrollable. And that's just what's happened with me. So let me show you some products that I'm using and things to consider. And of course, any questions you have, comment below. Get on social media. I put up all of this stuff, what I use and everything on Instagram. If you're an Instagrammer, get on there and ask me anything you like. I answer questions all day long and it's no problem. All right, first up, let's talk about the other question that I get. 
The other question that I get is the order of the products. People are a little confused about that. And I'll put some links below because I did the kind of my cheat sheet, morning routine, evening routine of the order of the products that I use. So I'm gonna go in that order just so you kind of get an idea. Okay, first thing is like in the evening say, First thing I like to do is I'm a double cleanser. What double cleansing is, is using something like a cleansing balm or oil, and then using a cleanser, a regular cleanser, you know, a foam cleanser, you know, there's a variety of different cleansers at Sephora, those kinds of things, then using that. What I found with that is that's very, very important if you have troubled skin, like acne issues, breakouts, and things like that, because you're thoroughly cleansing your skin. Now, I wanted to tell you about this product. First of all, let me just say, my number one favorite cleansing balm ever, ever, is Pharmacy's Green Clean. That's the one that I would recommend, um, you know, if you want to try your first cleansing balm. But the one that has kind of a cult following is the Emma Hardy. Um, it's the Amazing Face Moringa Cleansing Balm. And I had to get it because I heard all about it. And I got to tell you, I get it now. It's a really, really great cleansing balm. With cleansing balms, what you do is you just kind of scoop out. They all have give you scoopers. You scoop some out, and it's just a really nice product. It takes off a good cleanser like this and the... Um, pharmacy one will take off your, your your makeup really smoothly and easily and it's not like you're rubbing like at your face like with a makeup wipe so that's what I like about it because you want to stop rubbing at your face like I tried to use a make I was joking with a friend I used a makeup wipe for the first time a couple of weeks ago first time since I started kind of doing all of this and it felt like I was rubbing my face <laughs> with a Brillo pad it just felt so weird to me because I'm so used to the ease of taking it off just it melts with something like this but anyway I just wanted to tell you this is really good it's a little thicker it's thicker than the pharmacy and a lot of the cleansing balms that I use but it's really really excellent all right um, right along with that I said cleansing balm or cleansing oil a lot of you guys are familiar with cleansing oils there's a lot of really really good ones out there this one was sent to me and I was so so impressed it's by votary and it's their cleansing oil. They have two. Actually, a friend sent me the other one, which I was so there. She got it from um, is it Anthropology? They have sales sometimes, and she had they were having a 20% off sale. So she got one another one for herself because she really loves it, and she got one for me. But this is the one that they sent me. It's the rose geranium and apricot cleansing oil. Oh, it is amazing. It's like a sensory experience. You like you pump it into your hands, and I just go. <gasps> And it just, it just smells, it's got a light scent. It, it just smells wonderful and it just melts everything away. The, the mascara, the eye makeup, it just, it's wonderful. So that's like usually my first step at night, uh, cleansing oil, cleansing balm. Then I move on to just a regular cleanser. Now I use a variety of cleansers, you know, the Drunk Elephant Bestie cleanser is one I'm using a lot because I think it's great. I mentioned it in the last video. It's great for my skin type, um, I think. Um, I think if you have dry or dry skin, you would, you know want a little bit more of moisture to you. something a little more moisturizing but anyway um then you and i like the youth to the people just giving you a lot of you know there's a lot of cleansers that i like i have a lot of cleansers um but one that has really really impressed me and kind of stands out i've mentioned his products before but i've never brought them you know out in a video and i wanted to do that today um jordan samuel skin this is the plie treatment cleanser and it's amazing now Hey, if you have dry skin, I'm going to point out to you, there are products here that are great if you have dry skin. And just because you're the opposite of me, maybe, I still have products that are great for you. So dry skin, guys, pay attention. This is a great cleanser if you have dry skin. I happen to love it as well. So it kind of crosses the barrier, you know, crosses the divide between us, um, you know, with the oily T-zones and the, the dry people. Um, but this cleanser is just amazing. It's a gel cleanser. And I've really gotten into gel cleansers because they're very, very generally, they're very, very gentle and they are great at just, you know, removing you know whatever they need and your skin is still moisturized after you wash it which is key to me I notice that now I don't like anything stripping so this is fantastic um it smells to me lightly of gummy bears I think it's like gummy bears. it's like it, it's like it smells like candy candy so I love it I love it I love it and it's a really really great cleanser some people use this for their first and second cleanse if they double cleanse because it's just that good you can even leave this on your skin it's amazing you can even leave this on your skin and as a mask 
amazing. Really, really great stuff. Um, his things are sold on his website, so it's jordansamuelskin.com. And then there's one other product I'm going to tell you about that's great, but Plie is a wonderful cleanser. Now, the next step for me usually, um, and in the morning I just go, I don't do a balm or oil, I do the cleanser, and then I like to do a little spray hydration, all right? And so I have two spray spray hydrators to tell you about. Hydrators, is that a word? I don't know. Um, I use quite a few, but these two are newer to me, and I started using them, and I was very impressed after using them for a while. Now the first one is by uh, Georgette Cleaner, Clinger. This was sent to me, and this is the Lavender Facial Mist really really nice of course you know it smells great it's not overpowering it just feels you know it smells and it, it makes me feel like I love misting my face some people don't like that at all so if you don't like that step skip that step but this just I feel, I feel like I'm running through a garden it's just great it, it smells wonderful it says on here that it's good for all skin types um, but I have just found it to be very very refreshing and something I look forward to spraying my face with to hydrate um, the other thing that is really really good that I uh, started using and I really like is um, it's by IS clinical and this is their copper firming mist all right, really, really, really nice. Let me take a step back because I see I've already made a mistake. They have a fantastic cleanser, um, the IS Clinical. It's called the Cleansing Complex. Now this is really great if you got skin type, you know, oily or your combination like me. This gets you all nice and clean, but no stripping. And people swear are so ride or die for this on social media. And I had to order it and I totally see why. It's phenomenal. So again, with the steps, you would, you know, in the morning I do like this and then this, all right? At night, it might go this way, balm, or no, no, oil or, bal or balm, and then this and then this, all right? But I'm gonna leave you some links below so you can, you know, look at my posts and see the orders because I, I do cheat sheets because it's hard to remember the order. Anyway, this is really great. This is a copper firming mist, as I said before, which is really, really great for us older girls, over 30, um, <laughs> it helps to firm your skin. And that's why I got into it. I was like, oh, wait, 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 wait. And it's also really good um, for my skin type because it's great. It says it's something about um, regulating sebaceous glands. So you know what that is. That's my T-zone, yuck. So um, it's excellent for dry and dehydrated skin, sunburn, excellent, excellent, excellent stuff. So after that, um, or before that, you can tone. So toning is a really, really, really big deal. Um, toning is a really big deal to me because I've kind of changed the way I do it. Um, I used to use like really stripping toners, you know, laden with alcohol and it just really, you know, I was excited if I saw some dirt come, come off on the, <laughs> the cotton swab, but I've kind of, a, and you'll notice with all this, I've kind of adapted a more of a, you know, K-beauty, Korean beauty type of, um, you know, schedule routine here. And the thing about that is, is in that way, toners, and you know, in that sense, toners are really, really more than, you know, taking off dirt you know, and taking off, you know, old skin cells and that kind of a thing. So the toners that I really use, and this is one of the things I get the number one, and this, okay, I always said number two, one, number one, number two. This is the thing I get the third most questions about, and it's um, the uh, P50. This is a cult thing that so many people are on top of and so many people swear by. They call it a facial in a bottle. I've heard it called that. I started using it and I was amazed, absolutely amazed at the things it can do for your skin. It is so pricey though. Let me, I can't even say the name of the company, so I'm just gonna do a close up while I tell you about it. I'll just do it. Now there are a couple different versions of this. This is just the regular P50. There's a P50 1970 and it has kind of a controversial ingredient in it ingredient in it and I kind of stay away from that. I got the very small version of this and I was so in love with it. It was it was a small version. It was still 20 something dollars. So I was like, Ugh. but um, <laughs> I was so impressed like by week by like the sec first part of the second week using it, I saw changes. So I was like, oh my gosh. Now I've tried to find things that are cheaper. One of the products that is compared to it and is le significantly less um, is uh, Pixie's Glow Tonic. 
I went through a whole small bottle of that and it didn't do what this did for me. So, but some people it does, so don't count that out. You may want to go ahead and try it, that. The other thing that I tried, if you watch my uh, videos recently, um, within the last couple months, is I got the uh, Ordinaries Glycolic 7% um, Acid and I believe that, yeah, that's the name of I think that's the name of it. But anyway, it's an older video and I thought that that was doing the same things for me and it seemed like that for a very long time and then I noticed, no, it's not. So I ordered another bottle and this is the, they were like three bottles. The one small one that I got was 20 something. This is the 5.1 ounce and it is, I believe, $50. Now, a lot of people ask me, I've answered this so many times, where did you get yours? And I got it at shoprescuespa.com. I live in the U.S. So I got it at shoprescuespa.com. And um, what they do is they have you register. That's totally free. Once you register, you can see the prices of the products and order. And that's where I get this from. The shipping is excellent. I got it. I, I forget. I think, I almost think they're in Canada. I'm not sure. But I almost think... I feel like they are, but anyway, I got the, I got it like two days later. It's amazing shipping, and I was really really impressed with that. Both times it was like that, but yeah, this okay. So let me tell you what it's done. This is why people are like going crazy for it. I'll tell you the amazing thing it did for me. Now, remind mind you, not everybody's going to have this experience, but as I told you, I have combination skin. I also have pore issues. I had visibly had visibly you know pores I was always using pore primers and things like that you know to just make my pores not you know so you couldn't see them when you were like up on me you know I just was always using you know primers that were you know had help you know pore help and in, in incorporated into the formula that kind of a thing well I've given most of those away I still have a couple but I've given most of those away you know why I don't need them anymore I don't have a visible pore. I used to have on my nose, like right around the tip and then right through here, right through here, you could see the little dots, you know? And that's why I was always using those primers and nothing ever got, I've, I've had them for so long. And I started using this and my visible pores were invisible. And um, the other thing is, is it's really good for the uh, turnover. Um, I've noticed that it is really great for that. And I guess that's why people call it a facial in a bottle because um, I have, even though I have, you know, combination skin, you would think um, dead skin isn't an issue. It is. I have dead skin, a lot of dead skin. And that's helped kind of clear that out. My face always just looks fresh when I use that. Um, people notice a little bit of a tingle. I did when I first started using it. Now I use it once a day and and I don't have that um, but you know if you have sent more a little more sensitive skin you might get a little redness if you're very fair you might get a little redness but I totally recommend it um, there are different versions there's one for uh, if you if you have sensitive skin there's one for that so there's a couple different versions check out and see if it's, there's a right version for you and again I get it again in the US I live in the US and the site that I found that has it is shop rescue spa Com. All right, enough about that. This is another fantastic. Now this I would recommend, I recommend that to everybody, but this, if you have dry skin, you might want to get on board with this. This is the uh, Wamisa uh, Organic Flowers Toner, and I love this stuff. Now I got this from Amazon, and if you saw the haul a couple months ago, you, you'll know. I got this from Amazon and was pretty excited about it because I had seen it in videos, and it has been behind the p50 it's my favorite um it's a really really great toner it's a moisturizing toner so what you do with it isn't the cotton ball thing what you do with it is you pour a little bit of it in your hand go like this and then you press it into your face it is so moisturizing so again alert alert if you have dry skin and you need some moisture we might want to get on board fine even if it's not this one, find yourself a moisturizing toner if you have dry skin. Um, one of the methods that is in um, the, the uh, kind of Korean beauty um, that I really got onto with this is the seven skin method. And really quickly what that is, I don't wanna get too off track, but what the seven skin method is, is doing it seven times, pouring a little in. And I thought, what? It is the most moisturizing thing that has ever happened to my face. It is fantastic, I highly recommend it. 
every day, or every day. I, I don't have, when I do it, I don't have time to do all seven. A lot of times, you know what my magic, I found out my magic number. My magic number is three. I can, if I do it three times, that gives me just what I need. Seven is great, but three is just bare bones what really gives me an effect. And it just moisturizes it pumps my skin, makes my skin just feel fantastic. But this is a phenomenal toner. They have different kinds. This is the deep, rich one, and I high, highly recommend it for, especially if you have dry skin. If you have skin like me, I totally recommend it as well. Really, really short segue. Um, what I've done with my skin is, I kind of touched on it before, what I've done with my skin is I've gone into using light hydrating layers of skincare products. And what that's done for me is really helped make my drier parts very, very happy. But what the funny thing is, and the thing I was not expecting, and I just kind of went into it hoping, it has made my T-zone super duper happy. Super duper. Um, one of the things I've always been told every time I've gotten a facial, and I'm not a regular facial getter, that's expensive, but one of the things I've always been told is my skin is dehydrated and I dare that somebody to say that to me now. My skin is not, yeah, I am constantly hydrating my skin with things like this, uh, with things like this. So it's really, really turned my skin around. So the effects for my, 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 my drier parts love it, but my T-zone is what really has surprised me with what, you know, has happened. All right. So next, um, let's talk about eye cream. Um, I am a really big lover of the Maracuja, is it Maracuja? C, uh, Brightener eye cream from Tarte. That's my number one favorite. My issue with my eye, under eye area is uh, dark skin, uh, dark, you know, dark circles. Um, one of the first eye creams that I've noticed that has really helped with that and isn't from Tarte is the uh, Biosense Squalene Peptide Eye Gel. And this is at Sephora, and it's really, really, really great. I am in love with it, and it really has helped with the dark circles. Um, I don't need issue. I don't have issue with puffiness, most likely, but if I do, this is also great for that. Um, but dark circles, it really has made a difference. I next product from Jordan. Uh, the next product that is really, really great from Jordan, and this is the second product I tried, and kind of my number one favorite. I love the plie cleanser, but this is phenomenal and it's something that everybody can use. It's called Hydrate. It's a facial serum and it's phenomenal. It is one of those light hydrating layers that I've been putting on my skin that has really turned things around. Um, anytime my skin feels dry, anytime my skin feels, you know, pretty much every day. Um, <laughs> Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is good every day. I don't feel dry every day. But um, anytime your skin is just, you know, kind of lackluster, this is just a great thing to use. So I end up using it almost every day. Um, but it really, really is great at hydrating and just keeping my skin in balance. Um, so I really, really like it. It's Hydrate um, Facial Serum. And look how much I've used. I will definitely be getting another. This is like a lifetime product where, like the P50, I'll be getting it for life. Um, this is kind of an interesting product and new for me because... Um, one of the things that I had heard about with, you know, doing a, a you know, K-Beauty routine is about ampules. And I was like, I had to Google it because I was like, what is that? And once I Googled it, I was very interested, but I hadn't really come across anything in ampule that I thought I needed. Then I went to Hot Look and I saw, because I checked, they have some K-Beauty things here and there. They have some up there now. I haven't checked it out yet. But anyway, um, there was an ampule and I got two of them. I got a honey ampule and snail. My skin loves snail. Snail is really, really moisturizing. So I have snail sheet masks. I have a snail essence. I'm all about some snail. Um, but anyway, <laughs> the ampule that I am loving the most, uh, the, the same company makes my snail uh, ampule. This is the honey all-in-one ampule, and it is just really, really neat. It's You only need one. I really shouldn't have got. I really didn't look at the sizes. Um, this was $15 from Hot Look. Um, this is huge, and uh, I... I couldn't use this in a year because you just scoop out like a quarter size amount. That's probably a little too much. Well, I, I like to rub it in and massage and everything like that. But anyway, it is really, really nice. And it says right on here, and it's totally true, makes your skin moist and soft. 
and it really really does one of the things people say about ampules is that you can skip a lot of the steps like toner essence you can skip all those steps and i tried it and i i gotta say your skin kind of looks the same if you just put this on so and this is 15 dollars. so take note take note um but this is really really nice now it's got a really kind of a thick consistency and um i'll just put my usually i use my scooper but for you guys i'll just say it's just got a kind of a slightly thick consistency it's the same consistency as the organic flowers toner they're just kind of kind of slightly thick not syrupy but just kind of sl slightly thick and i just scoop some out and I, I said a quarter but that's probably too much i don't do that much but you scoop it out and again just like with the toner you rub it in and go like that and it's a little stickier than the toner um but again, your skin is just like, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Mine is like, thank you. So this is really, really good. Take note if you have dry skin. This is really, really good. I had someone ask me about this on Instagram that had dry skin and I said, try an ampule. And she, actually two people, one girl was like DM'd me about it and was like, oh my God, this is amazing. I have dry skin and this is totally taking care of it. My skin has never been this great during the summer. And I was like, oh, I'm so glad. But that that is great. Oils, I use some facial oils, not as much as I will in the winter time though. Facial oils, um, I do love but in the winter time is when I'm really like into them, into them. Um, so I'll do some videos in the winter about really keeping your skin from being dry and we'll go into oils a lot deeper. But I do like this votary oil. It is a jasmine and calendula, calendula. And it is a really, really nice facial oil. Ah, oh, this, their stuff is so like, you're like, oh, like I want to have a little spa experience, like a cheaper spa experience with my own products. That's what I'm always striving to do. And they help me do that. Um, another really, really important thing to, to uh, do during the summer, during the winter is sunscreen. And I'm really, really into sunscreen and, um, I wish I had been before. It's one of the best things you do can do besides, you know, using things like P50, using things like retinol, you know, retinols, things like that to really turn back the time, turn back time with your skin is really using good sun protection. And as a, you know, an African American person, I, I wasn't on board as, as early as I wish I had been because it can really, you know, help save your skin and keep your skin from looking, you know, you know, I always wonder what would my skin look like if I had started using this earlier? But you know, you can't, you can only do what you can do starting today, you know? Um, but I wanted to tell you about, because I have that combination skin, what I really like to use, cause that's a number one, <laughs> number four question too. Something I get asked a lot, you get the idea. Uh, <laughs> but I'll tell you, there are two things and both of them have a matte finish, all right? I'll tell you, if you are on the edge, I think this is enough for someone like me with combination skin. Um, this is Paula's Choice. It is an SPF 30. It has a little bit of a tint to it. On my skin, you can't even see it. Um, but it really has that matte finish that you want that is the perfect base. Like, I don't even use primers anymore because the pore issue is gone. I told you about that. But my primer or my spf is mattifying and it's like the perfect makeup base you don't need a primer this is my primer has been all summer all right so this is really really good um i would say combination skin oily skin is gonna like this uh but i would lean more towards the combination skin people if you are super oily and even i like this more because it's more of a mat it's more mattified let's say um this is alginous and this is amazing it's the called the uh, sublime defense um, and this is more mattifying and I, when I'm really, you know, going to be doing my makeup and I really don't want anything going on, I don't even want to do the spray, um, that kind of a thing. This is the one I use cause it's the absolute perfect mattifying primer with SPF. <laughs> no, they're, they're marketing it as SPF, but I think it's the perfect mattifying primer. Uh, but anyway, it's, yeah, it's, it's one ounce and I feel like it's 20 something. I got it at the Sephora cell. I kind of hemmed and hawed, didn't know whether I wanted it or not, but I'm so glad I got it. Uh, but I will definitely be repurchasing this and I totally would repurchase. I use this a lot more because this is bigger. This is two ounces and this is one. Um, uh, but I expect to, use up both of these and definitely will repurchase last but not least is masking and i'm only going to talk to you about one mask the reason being i want to do a whole video on masks because i'll just give you a teaser for it 
I read an article a couple months ago about masking more often and someone, the person that wrote the article, I gotta find it before I do that video, said that their skin changed because they masked more often and I wanted to try it and I have been and I've got quite a mask collection, quite a collection of masks and my face has changed because of it. Um, what I stick with, I will tell you this, what I, what I mainly stick with is hydration. Uh, the sheet masks that I use, like out of my collection, I would say 85% of it is hydrating masks, whether they be pot masks or sheet masks. You can't go wrong with hydration. I read that too. If you have any doubt, go with hydration because hydration helps everybody. Um, but yeah, I use a lot of hydrating masks and they are amazing. Uh, but I'm, I'm masking more often, and this tripped a couple people out on social media when I said it. I do it like five or six days of a week. Usually, definitely five, if not six days of a week. I have a mask on my face at some point during the day. Changed my skin, made my skin all very, very happy, and very, very helped with keeping it from being dehydrated. Um, one of the greater, um, not not hydrating masks, but detox mask, uh, detox mask that I use is by a company called Luzerne. And they sent this to me and I was so impressed with this. This is the mask I used the day after the 4th of July because I had been out in the sun for hours. My makeup looked perfect. But I had been out in the sun for hours and I was just like, you know how you're just out there for hours and you're just like, oh, you just feel like a dish rag, you know? So the next morning I just put this all over my face. The other thing I'll tell you about maxing, uh, masking, masking, Masking. masking is get out your foundation brush that you don't like you know those flat foundation brushes you can make your masks last if you use those to apply your mask don't stick your finger in there and you know you're using too much product get your little foundation brush you don't like and then spread it on thin nice thin layers all you need make that last mask stretch out anyway this is the one I used July 5th <laughs> and it's just the perfect detox mask it's fantastic and I love that them because they sent me this um, they also sent me a really really nice um, they have a nice um, uh, cleansing water uh, this is really really good this is I think they have the whole line it's called La Defense um, but they sent me a bunch of products from it they sent me an SPF and a moisturizer that are phenomenal the moisturizer has the perfect finish it's like a satiny finish oh really really good but anyway um, their products are really nice and one of the things that they did is they sent me extras uh, little masks because um, um, they're really good people and I said this on uh, I just started using Instagram stories I'm very new to it so bear with me um, but <laughs> I have a giveaway planned a skincare giveaway I've gotten a lot of things extras and things like that and I wanted to put them all together and do a giveaway and it's gonna be on Instagram so I'll tell you a little bit about what's in the <clears throat> basket all right it's a big old basket and i did a, an instagram story showing all of the products laid out that might be gone by the time you look at this video though um have you ever tried a lip mask oh these are really great this is by patchology and then the new l'oreal cleansers i got them twice i got them from the uh i guess a pr company that works with l'oreal and l'oreal sent me a big box i showed that on uh, instagram stories too but i got them twice so they're in here so all three of the cleansers uh the pure clay cleansers from l'oreal are in here um i have a l'oreal triple power revita lift i had to add because i got two of them just things i get two of i i had to add this because this is the best mascara it's Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. I got two of those, so I put that in there. Um, the Luzerne um, Detox Mask. They sent me these little babies. So you can have, you can keep these all for yourself, or you and three friends can come over, three friends can come over to your house, and y'all each got your own little pot of de detox masks. So I think that's pretty cool. I also have a, a sample of the Honey Potion for Pharmacy. This is a phenomenal honey mask really really good so i have a bunch of things in here and i will be doing a giveaway with them i have a week's worth did i mention that a week's worth of sheet masks some of my favorites um so there's a lot in here including the hot alabo mm, that sheet mask is good um but anyway oh glam glow sent me um their little uh what is it gravity mud sonic 
they sent three of them so i put one of them in the uh, giveaway uh but yeah check out the giveaway it'll be up on instagram this weekend guys thank you so so much for watching i know i get crazy when i talk about skincare but thank you so much for joining me and i hope this was helpful to you ask me any questions that you'd like down below or on social media and i will get back to you as soon as i can thanks